Welcome, Aries. This is the December read, mid-December, first half of December, if you want to look at it. Time is such a fuzzy thing on the other side where manifestation comes and from and where the spirit lives. That's what we're asking. Name of light, love, only so as serves the greatest good spirit. Can you help us and guide us in this reading that is asking about what is going on between you and the one on your mind, whoever that is. They don't even have to be with you. They don't necessarily have to be incarnated right now. They might have transitioned already. But if they're on your mind and they're in your heart, that is who this reading is designed to pick up on. And that will be seen here, represented by the Six of Wands. Before I start, the overall energy, which I do read in this, is the Eight of Wands. And I see that with both of you. Here, the Ace of Wands, you are Aries. Um, very ready. And I kind of read this a little bit. It's just your energy. Not your energy around the relationship, but you're on fire and you're ready. Maybe you're young. Maybe it's just that time, but you're feeling passionate, you know. I mean, you want it, you know. You're not sitting back uh, quietly, uh, um, you know, a wallflower, no. And this person certainly is not. The six now of wands, right? And holding the wreath there. Their laurels. You have uh, both of you probably are young and beautiful, relatively speaking, you know, uh, if you, Aries, maybe always, this Ace of Wands can be you. This is someone that is giving birth to some new part of yourself. Is right in line with the cycle just now starting. The eclipse was only a few days ago now. And here we are, both of you lit up. Now, your person, they're more into themselves, honestly. And you are more into them. In fact, you're on fire for them if this is your reading, Aries. And that's how we're going to start this. Now here we see the energy of the two of you as you move into relationship. And I'm simply seeing here, you already know this. I'm just trying to get a baseline and you can see if this is your reading because it doesn't resonate. You may or may not know what's going on with them. But you're coming in now uh, with this three of six of pentacles. And I show you again, kind of uh, giving more um, than receiving. Um, wanting to be balanced, wanting to be fair. Um, it's a very solid energy. Combine, it's a nice energy to combine with you being the Ace of Wands. Could, this could be too fast. You know, this could be an affair. This could be a predator. This energy of the Ace of Wands. Anything's here. This is your feelings around love and relationship. You're fired up. But you're, com you're approaching them with a balanced approach. Um, I, it thought hit me you're not creating karma so here you know you're not creating karma that's like it can't um, it's not the best we can do we want to create like everything <laughs> but if we're not creating karma that's a hell of a good uh, start in a relationship so that's how you're reacting to them now they're coming up with the king of cups you know and I think it, the way they're reacting to you there could be uh, some how, could, how would it express itself? Uh, passive aggressive behavior, um, uh, emotionally kind of uh, withholding behavior, manipulative behavior, controlling behavior by your person with this king. I can't tell you why, but I just get the feeling, especially combined, well, combined with the six of wands is what it is. So they're already, this six of wands, you're a little full of yourself. It's not necessarily bad. Sometimes you deserve it. It's all about how you handle it. Everybody deserves to get accolades and be the best sometimes and whatever. Um, but um, so emotionally, I get the feeling like you're basically you're coming. We're both coming on strong. This had to be kapow, right? I get it. But now that you're kind of like looking at each other, you're kind of like weighing in going, I think I'm down, you know, six of pentacles. You're really down. So if you're a cross watcher, you should be thrilled. But. You tell me about this King of uh, Cups here. I'll uh, clarify the King of Cups. Huh. We have the Page of Wands. Page of Wands. I tell you, this is uh, what it is. Uh, the part of this person, you know, in astrology, you might say it's a ascendant or related. 
um, this part of them that's receiving the accolades that's uh, in some way victorious, um, you know, it's fire. And here you have the page of fire. The reason kind of what's putting me off about this, I'm not making a judgment, I'm just saying it's your reading here, Aries. It's important that you know. This person is not really mature, you know, but I mean, they have it in them. We all do, right? They may have some water. I think what this points to, maybe they have a water moon. Um, you know, maybe it's not the sun. Maybe they got a, a fire sun, your person. Okay, we could just say that. And so there's this balance within them and that they maybe could find. But I feel like there's this just this immaturity. And it's kind of related to, it's honestly just would be the sexual tension that you immediately felt with this person. This would have been, boom, immediate, you know, uh, uh, you're feeling it. So then we move down here to the position of advice from spirit for you being the star. That's your advice, Aries. And for your person, it's the two of wands. Very interesting for your person. So many wands, especially with that clarification coming in, even after I put this down. So with this being the position for you of could be Aquarius in your chart with the star, but this is a spirit advising you how best to proceed or interact or engage or perceive this relationship with your person here, represented by the six of wands to start. So it's hopes and dreams and wishes. It's very positive. I, I, I got to go with this. I think it's trying to say that if you really look deep down at this relationship, that this is what you're looking for. This is what you're meant to find, Aries. I see it that way. It's like, because I'm saying it that way because I think like a lot of people are like, click, they're like, you're, no, 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 because that's probably what you're, no, that's not how I feel. That's not it. This is not it. Um, but you're feeling something, right? Um, and maybe there's this little bit of want to holding yourself, want to hold yourself back. And that's why I think you're getting the star. This is advice from spirit. And they're kind of saying like, don't look at that pic. Don't hold back. This is it. This is what really you've dreamed of here. Um, and the advice from spirit for your person, if you're cross-watching or if anyone would like to share this with their lover or whatever their interest, I would love that to be the use of this, you know, if it resonates. And I, I don't, you know, there are no signs, you know, it's just uh, how we grow and learn through relationships. It's all, hell, we probably like signed on to every bit of this, man. Oh my God, the soul contract. I took forever. <laughs> uh, to check it out. Do you agree with this? 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 Yeah, yeah. Uh, so they got a decision to make, and it involves an action, people. That's important right here because wands are action. So they got a whole lot of wands on them. And I see this as kind of maybe they're dancing around some fear of intimacy. It's not, it's pretty basic. I know it's kind of Dr. Phil-ish, but seriously. So, you know, they're bumping up against you. What you're seeing emotionally, whatever they're doing, the dodging, the weaving, the kind of toxic, passive-aggressive stuff is them sort of not having the maturity yet. Maybe you could say spiritually, emotionally, I don't know, to um, kind of deal with a solid, long-term, intimate relationship, which I think is what you're offering them. Also, I'm not like a huge twin flames, I just say, because I don't want to be disingenuous, but I hold it out there that it could be. And this would seem like a twin flame, um, which case here, especially with the stars making me think, um, you would be the activator and this would be the sleeper. And uh, yeah, so um, advice from spirit being two of wands, you know, it, it, you're not being told do this or do that. You're being told do something, you know, to, you have to take action. This is for the cross watcher here, Aries. So everything kind of hinges on that moving forward. So we all have free will and they have free will and they may choose one. Now this is probably not a choice like A or B, like you're, you know, uh, a choice between someone else. It's a choice between grow up or not grow up for them. It's a choice between, you know, do I stay or do I go is how I usually phrase it. But the energy right now is very strong to up, move everyone up. We're all uh, getting basically upgrading. This is the tide that's raising all boats. So maybe it's no uh, 
uh, accident that this is hitting you at this time. I see this as a new relationship. Here are the two of pentacles that you can see quite well. It's a beautiful, you know, this is the Klimt art deck, so it's a little different, you know, it's so beautiful, much of it, see it like that. So again, it reminds me of this, how you are acting towards them. You do seem like the feminine. I know I'm not supposed to say that. Now over here, I mean, I don't care, whatever, it doesn't matter, but it, you could be a male. I have a lot of divine feminine energy. This could be me, how I am in relationships often. So, but this is a, you're approaching them with this feminine energy. There's a little energy, of, I hate to say it, the blah, but mom to son, mothering, uh, a little uh, energy of caretaking with the six of pentacles. You're coming in and uh, very caring and nurturing, nurturing, so kind of energy. Um, and the spirit's saying two of pentacles. It's saying like you both got to put your, uh, selves in the game you both got to make this commitment here and i've never seen this kind of come out just like this but you know everybody's like free will is it free well you know we get dealt to hands is that like a poker game and now we're looking at that hand and it's like we can we can cha try to change it or we can figure out how to that's that's us you know so these are very personal energies the three of pentacles and the two of pentacles here and um it shows someone on their knees i would see that remember this is the advice for both of you for the relationship as a whole so you both need to go to your knees a little bit and, and there's a grounding and a thankfulness and realize what you have sort of in each other in this relationship now um again i believe it's it kind of hinges on this person here. They're strong. If I look at the red in the reading, you come in with red, which is a great way to come into love reading. Okay, look at your prime. I mean, you're on it, right? Uh, now, um, and this is exactly the kind of energy you can be in when you're going to find, you know, hey, I'm, I hate to tell you, it might not be your twin flame or soulmate, but you're going to find uh, some karmic stuff coming on you that needs to be, and you, you know, it's important. And so it's very important in the future. And I, well, I think it's going to happen in the future that you're both going to agree to work on this relationship. That's what it comes down to, Aries. Um, and it's kind of interesting because, like, it, it could have started out as an affair. It could have started out totally sexual, physical, and then kind of went a little deeper. And then you kind of scared them. And then they kind of, you know, uh, backed up and emotionally doing some kind of gymnastics, but you're just being steady and you're like, wow, I kind of got this feeling. And you may be already feeling this star card, like already, like, I think this is my soulmate. You know, I'm an astrologer, let me know. <laughs> uh, I, I'll go so far to say, you know, I could do, we could definitely tell something, you know, say, can you tell it's your soulmate? Yeah, you, I think you can. But that's not that hard because everyone's our soulmate. You're going to see stuff, but, you know, coming in. Uh, that's in a, a conjunction with soulmates uh, usually are very tight like otherwise positions aspects so um, this is uh, interesting you know it's like uh, you could well uh, this is for the first half of December say mid-December uh, time frame so uh, check back in even in a week you know I see this kind of evolving like it's all in your hands so I think you're already in. You're basically like, I'm in, okay? And they're like, eh, and they need to get their ass in. And I think they will because the outcome is you guys working together, cooperation here, okay, and work. So whatever that might mean. It's a good, it's a good way to do a relationship, you know? It's kind of an earth way. Not normally might suit an earth sign. Look like two fire signs here, but hey, whatever works, right? And I see this working, guys, literally. The working. Thank you.